My grandfather, Gene Benedetti, started Clover Stornetta Farms in 1977. We're located here in the Bay Area of California. We are one of the last few small independently held dairies and as a result we have to do things differently in order to be a viable company. We are the first dairy in the United States to do a solar cogeneration installation. We process uh, approximately 60 to 75,000 gallons of milk a day. The dairy industry in general is a large consumer of water and electricity. In fact for every gallon of fluid milk processed it's about a gallon to a gallon and a half of water needed to clean both before and after and sanitize and, and all that. And 80% of that is hot water. So what, what cogeneration -gener, co really does for us, it's a way to not only reduce our electricity, which is, is, is smaller with the cogenera system, but it's really a way to decrease our water usage and our therms usage. The system has a receiver, that's what you see that's lit up, that's the core technology. On the front of it is PV, receiving the sun's energy and turning it into electricity. And behind the PV, you can kind of see three oval channels. That's where the water runs through, absorbing the thermal energy, the heat from the sun that's typically wasted, and turning it into gallons of electricity, or excuse me, gallons of hot water that are stored right over here in these storage tanks and used for clovers, processes, for wastewater treatment and clean in place. The receivers are mounted in an arm and post assembly that the mirrors are sitting in and concentrating the sun onto that receiver. So the sun's energy is concentrated about eight times, making it a very efficient way to use the space and focus the energy onto the solar panel and the hot water running behind it. By using the hot water also, we're making the PV run more efficiently because it degrades as it gets hotter and hotter, so we're carrying that heat away from it. The tracking of the sun is done to make sure we're always knowing where the sun's at and focusing it right onto that receiver. It's done by these gears. You can see the, the pole here with kind of the little baffle of plastic. That's tracking and moving the system to follow the sun in the sky throughout the day and throughout the seasons. The massive demand for hot water, for use of hot water, heat in the form of hot water, to create the milk. It's true for wineries, it's true for beer breweries, it's true for cheese, it's true for anything in the food. It's true for pharmaceuticals, it's true for anything that's got to be clean. So massive amounts of heat are needed. So if you could co-locate your solar system next to that customer, and you could make the PV and then collect the heat and deliver the heat in an effective way, then you've got great value. It was my privilege to be able to introduce Cogenera to the folks at Clover Stornetta. We knew that we wanted to do some more things to become more sustainable. She knew that the dairy industry needed to take some steps to become more sustainable. And so it was a, just a perfect marriage to be able to hook up with Gail, who then in turn led us to Cogenera that led to our new solar cogeneration installation. They are part of the US dairy industry commitment to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 25% by 2020. The Cogenera system will we'll save about 32 uh, million metric tons or 32 million metric tons of greenhouse gases a year. We knew that our consumers expected this of us so we have to continue to innovate to be ahead of the game and to also keep our consumer base in our back corner.